This video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you'd like to learn how to make 3D renders like these Tesla AR glasses, well, I literally took this course on Skillshare that taught me how. When researching my video on how to tax robots, I took a course on how to do my taxes like rich people because I'd like to one day be a rich people. Skillshare is not just paying me to say I use their service. Well, no, that's exactly what they're doing. But I actually use Skillshare. Here's why Skillshare is better than just searching around YouTube to find what you need. Save time. You're here to find out what this thumbnail is all about. I learned how to make thumbnails on Skillshare, and not once during the course did I have to sit through an ad for Skillshare. They have extremely high standards for what they accept as course material, and the courses are comprehensive. Each subject has lots of teachers, so if you don't like one or you want another perspective, you got it. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description get a one-month free trial of Skillshare Premium, which is access to every single video they have. From coding AI to DIY custom jeans, Skillshare has it. Try it, it's free for a month. You won't be disappointed. Could Tesla use AI Day to announce a secret project, augmented reality glasses? <laughs> I know, I know this sounds crazy, but there is a case to be made for Tesla having a future business in augmented reality and even an edge based on their progress and strategy with full self-driving software. I mean, if they can overlay an entire car onto reality, overlaying some graphics doesn't seem like a problem. So announcing some AR glasses doesn't seem like too big of a leap. Actually, it's a huge leap. Okay, guys, you may know Alex from his channel, ticker symbol U. Alex makes great, highly researched breakdown videos of a bunch of tech companies focusing on many of the companies that are in ARK Invest portfolio and others. Can't recommend his channel enough. Alex has a background in computer vision and AI, so he'll be able to tell us all why I'm full of shit. But let me make the case first. Let's have a little bit of fun speculation. There is a case to be made. Alex and I ended up having a great and kind of long conversation, so I broke it up into three videos. This video is me making the case for Tesla's future in augmented reality. The second is me and Alex discussing those ideas. And the third video is our speculation on what we actually expect to see in AI day, as well as a few things we hope to see. Both of those videos will be linked in the description and we have a really good time and you can tell in these videos. But you really don't think that this is a possibility? No, not at all. Okay, but I mean, what if it is? It is not, no. Okay, but it could be. Uh, No, definitely not. But have you thought about the fact that it could totally happen? Uh, no, it will actually 100% not happen. Uh, and I definitely think- uh, Okay, you know, agree to disagree. I agree that you're wrong. I mean- Okay, let's just get this out the way. You might remember back in 2018, this is a article from Business Insider. Tesla wants its factory workers to wear futuristic augmented reality glasses on the assembly line. And they actually filed a patent defining how this would work. So there you go. Tesla at least has a patent for augmented reality. I'm not just totally out of left field here. So here's the crux of my argument. Tesla is solving vision. And the biggest problem, arguably, that you need to solve for really good augmented reality is vision. I recently did a video about Andre Karpathy, Tesla's head of AI, who recently did a presentation detailing Tesla's progress and direction for full self-driving. I'll leave a link to that right up here. Tesla has switched to an all vision system. They've dropped radar and they are using vision to actually create 3D models of the world. This was a really cool slide. This 3D model of the world was created solely from the cameras. So you can imagine that the experience Tesla is gaining by doing this at high frame rates, at high speed, could be very useful for augmented reality. Okay, why would Tesla even care about augmented reality? You're going, they make cars, man. They're not gonna go make glasses. And yeah, you're probably right. That's not maybe the first thing. But 
don't you think Tesla would be very interested in using the windows around a self-driving car to create an augmented reality layer on top of reality so that a passenger that's not driving could look out into the world and see, oh wow, look in the distance, there's a cluster of cool restaurants out there. Oh, hey, look, there's a, there's a movie theater over this way. And, uh, oh, hey, the zoo's over there. I know that because there's a giant elephant, uh, you know, walking around on the horizon out there. That kind of really cool, interesting way for you to, as a passenger in a self-driving car, just kind of look out the windows and interact with the world, talk to the car, talk to the AI system, ask it questions and have it show you in the world what things are, what they could be, where to go. It could be a whole added reality layer that you get to see as you look out the windows of your car. These are the kinds of things that you would imagine a really cutting edge self-driving car would implement. And come on, it's gonna take a really great 3D representation of the world in order to place those things outside. And the only company that I know that has a system in place for gathering a lot of real world data and trying to understand it, build a 3D representation and contextualize it is Tesla. The single neural network, we see the detections around it. We then build all that together with multiple neural networks and multiple detections. We bring in the other sensors and we convert that into what Elon calls a vector space, an understanding of the world around us. And this is something where, as we continue to get better and better at this, we're moving more and more of this logic into the neural networks themselves. And the obvious end game here is that the neural network looks across all the cars, brings in all the information together, and just ultimately outputs a source of truth for the world around us. And this is actually not like an artist rendering in many senses. This is actually the output of one of the debugging tools that we use on the team every day. We have the ability to detect a pedestrian. That's something we train very, very carefully on and put a lot of work into. But we also have the ability to detect obstacles in the roadway. And a pedestrian is an obstacle. And it's shown differently to the neural network. It says, oh, there's a thing I can't drive through. And these together combine to give us an increased sense of what we can and can't do in front of the vehicle and how to plan for that. What do you normally think as the obstacles for augmented reality? Getting the bulky size of the headsets down, smaller batteries, smaller chips, smaller sensors, getting the package nice and miniaturized so that they can kind of just disappear into a set of glasses that look cool and are light and powerful. Nobody really talks about having chips in there and AI that can look out and understand what's out there, what it is, and then put pop something up that's relevant or something that interacts with the environment. Elon is tweeting all the time about FSD and the problems they're solving. Self-driving requires solving a major part of real world AI. Generalized self-driving is a hard problem as it requires solving a large part of real world AI. Tesla is solving major part of real world AI. This is not widely known. Tesla is uniquely positioned in kind of decoding the world around it and having all this data coming in from the cars and doing it at high speed that they are the ones that are going to be building the best, most robust 3D contextualized representation of the world. And that is what is going to be necessary to build highly interactive graphical AR that works at high speed. So until I hear a bunch of news from Apple, Facebook, and Microsoft about how they're doing that, then really they're just building hardware and perhaps they're going to need to license something from a company like Tesla who can say, yes, we can run our software on your hardware to make your AR actually work. All right, that's my argument for Tesla and augmented reality. I think given all of that, a set of AR glasses could be somewhere in the not too distant future. Make sure you check out my conversation with Alex from Ticker Symbol U. He has a ton of good insights given he's a computer vision software engineer about Tesla's future in AR and how that is gonna unfold. 
I'm almost done editing it. It'll be up soon. I don't always promote the Patreon because it feels weird mentioning that at the end of a vlog or a tech review. But if you guys like the Nia the Curve, which have higher production value and there's joke writing and a bunch of research, I get comedians, YouTubers, tech CEOs, special effects, and more. It's Last Week Tonight for Tech. It's The Daily Show for Futurism. There is nothing in this genre in the mainstream. So if you want to help this grow and increase futurism stoke in the world, you can by joining Patreon.